Lungang, Lungang, vertical pulleys this time. So we have masses of A is 3 kg, mass of B is M. B is accelerating downwards 1.96, A is accelerating upwards. It's in an extensible string. They're both 1.28 meters above ground. Question one, find M. So we're going to look at the equations of motion for both A and B. So for A, since it's going upwards, the positive force is T. Subtract 3G, so F equals MA, so the net force, is the mass 3, and the acceleration is 1.96. In fact, here, we can work out what T is. I'll write this down. You get T is 35.28. We don't need to round just yet, only at the end of part A. Now we need to do the same for part B. It's going downwards, so we're going to say MG minus T. It's going to say 9.8 M minus T, which is 35.28, equals the mass, which is just M times the acceleration. And I'm going to bring this here, the 35 here. I'm going to divide by the coefficient of M, and I'm going to write down what you get for M. You get M is 4.5 kg. All right, part B. Find the speed of B as it strikes the ground. So this one is just a simple SUVAT question. So SUVAT S is 1.28. It starts from rest. We want to know what that is. And A is 1.96. We don't care about that. So this one's V squared is U squared plus 2AS. But U is 0. So V is going to be the root of 2 times A times S. And I'm going to write down what that is. You get 2.24 meters per second. Now, part C. How high? Find how high A reaches above the ground. So what's happening here is B is going to come down. A is going to go up. Then as B hits the ground, A is going to continue going up. Then it'll come back down. But we want to find the maximum height it reaches above the ground because the string is going to go slack. As B hits the ground, A is going to continue on its own. We're going to imagine the string, nothing happens. Now... When that happens, A is just going to be moving under gravity at that point. So it has a new acceleration of it just moving freely under gravity. So we need to model this different situation. So at that situation where B hits the ground, A is going to be moving at this speed. And we want to know how far does it go for it to then stop moving. So we want to know how high it goes. The initial speed in the subsequent motion is 2.24. We want to know when does it stop, meaning the highest point. It's moving freely under gravity. Same formula, V squared. We rearrange it nicely for S make our substitutions. When you use your calculator, you get this. All right, so what's the actual total? Now think about it. A is 1.28 meters above ground, then it moves with B, and then it hits the ground. So it actually moves another 1.28, and then it does that 0.2. So the actual total is 1.28 plus 1.28 plus this 0.256, which is approximately 2.8 to 2SF. Lungang, lungang.